Thanks, Amanda. Well, they may be small, but they're certainly mighty. And a national award further proves it. I did my research. Most people told me that no team deserves this honor more than the Smuggler's Notch Ski Patrol. On a sunny December day, or in the fiercest of storms. So you have to be an expert skier. You have to be able to ski anything, anytime. The Smuggler's Notch Ski Patrol has you covered on the slopes. We assist people in all kinds of things, from injuries to people who are just in over their head to people who might just be a little bit scared. I think on average we do about five to 700 calls a year. This 60-member crew, some paid, some volunteer, belongs to the third smallest ski resort in the region. But don't let that fool you. It was nice. It was our, kind of our first shot out and we won. The team just won the most outstanding Alpine Patrol Award from the National Ski Patrol. And they were up against 400 qualifying squads in the country. I don't think I realized ex just how much talent there really was here. I knew it was good, but that just, that was... Uh, Blew me away. We usually put more than half the training staff together at regional events. And the Smuggler's Notch has two ski patrollers in the National Hall of Fame. And I believe there's less than 20 people on the Hall of Fame total. I got it. Kathy Newberger and newly appointed patrol director Eli Moore decided to pair their two loves years ago. Helping others and shredding fresh powder. What I found was camaraderie and a wonderful way to spend my days outdoors to help people. It really, it really just stuck. For more, a veteran ski patroller for more than two decades. As volunteerism becomes increasingly rare, he wouldn't trade this crew for the world. This is a great place for people to still come and volunteer and work with the paid staff to kind of be a part of something that's a little bigger than yourself. The smug ski patrol got called as first on scene to help rescue ice climber Stephen Sherris last Thursday. You'll recall what happened on the Mount Mansfield side of the notch. A GoFundMe page has been set up for the Sherris family. Stephen was seriously hurt.